Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is the second part of the video in how we're going to show you how to remove viruses and malware from a typically infected PC. And uh, in our last video, what we did is show you how easy it is to get infected in a uh, regular old PC, even with the latest version of McAfee Internet Security and um, or any of the major antiviruses will actually lead to the same type of infection. It's virtually impossible to protect you from everything because today's infections aren't typically viruses. They're more like malware, grayware, adware, and antivirus companies can't prevent everything from coming in because you wouldn't be able to do what you wanted to do on your computer. So in all fairness, it's very difficult for them to do what they portend that they're supposed to do. So anyway, this computer is infected. We spent a bunch of time, well, probably about an hour. It's actually very difficult, as we said before, to infect a computer. But uh, we spent about an hour, it took about an hour, maybe two hours to get everything on this. And you'll see the 24 by 7 help on here, the Optimizer Pro, this Finally Fast Performance Center, all this junk that shouldn't be on a computer, which they tell you it's going to make it faster. What they actually do is slow you down because all, you've got all these processes uh, running in the background. So I don't even know what this is. And I hate this 24 by 7 guy too. This completely drives you nuts. So what we're looking at here is our McAfee Internet Security. And we did do a trial version. Uh, just to see what it did. It's fully installed, fully updated, and we were still able to get infected with this malware despite having McAfee installed. So what it's telling us is our computer is secure, which is neat. I'm going to run a quick virus scan, and uh, I'll jump back here and show you the results as soon as it's done. So what we've done is gone through an entire quick scan with the McAfee antivirus, and uh, we're going to see if anything has been found and right now on the bottom of the screen it's looking like it's found nothing. The point is if you do have an infected computer and you do run out and try to download and install and run an antivirus it's probably not going to resolve your malware and spyware and adware issues because they're again technically not viruses. It's a new type of infection that's uh, trying to sell you something or get some money out of you somehow. And in our next video we'll show you how you can protect your computer and I can get you virus free. And that's an interesting one, so check out the other list of our videos, how to set up a virus-free computer. But for now, uh, we're finishing our McAfee scan, and uh, we are probably going to find nothing at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is begin the download process and uh, show you what tools you can download, in most cases, for free to actually fix your computer and get rid of a lot of this adware and spyware. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to control panel because many of these programs although they are grayware malware a lot of them do give you valid uninstallation programs so you go to control panel and then programs and then remove programs and you can remove many of these things manually and a lot of times they won't give you a hard time. Now, a lot of people say, well, you can't do that. And Best Buy's Geek Squad and Data Doctors will charge you $200 and tell you, oh, you have to be a professional to do this. Well, that's not always the case. In many of these cases, you can remove a large majority of the infection yourself, especially these annoying things like my PC backup. There's a lot of really good online backups. My PC backup is, it's kind of underhanded the way they install it on your computer, so I'm not a fan of that. If I want to install something, I want to have total control of what I'm installing. I want to know what I'm installing before it tries to install itself. So I'm going to remove all these things, and I choose a program like Carbonite or Mosey if I want to do my online backups. They don't install themselves automatically. They give me the option if I want to install it or uninstall it. So fortunately, this My PC Backup is easy to uninstall. It actually removes itself from the shell, so you'll see your screen start to blink as it starts to take itself off, just as it's doing right now. And Because uh, it actually runs in your shell, which slows your computer down. You want to definitely get rid of that one, and then we'll go back here. It's actually closed my control panel, so I need to go back to control panel. From the start menu and then programs and uninstall a program the next thing that really drives me nuts is this optimizer pro so that can go away too and in my opinion it really does a whole lot of nothing in trying to make your computer faster and again it's there's a lot of free utilities including the c cleaner utility which does what optimizer pro does and probably a lot more for free and you can get that at ccleaner.com so we're going to knock off optimizer pro 
and we're going to have a lot less grief on our computer after <laughs> this is because this thing pops up every time you start up your computer it's like hey you've got 400 things wrong with your computer when in reality there's really nothing wrong with it. It's running fine. And Optimizer Pro is actually using more memory, more disk space, more processor cycles in its effort to tell you that there's something wrong. So essentially it's creating its own problem by making your computer slower. So we definitely want to remove that. We'll get rid of Optimizer Pro. And there's my other friend that's pop oh, there's a website saying, hey, you shouldn't have removed that. You could buy it now, get it free. I'm gonna close that before you even show it to me. And this guy up here is the completely most annoying thing I've ever seen. And it's 24 by 7 help. It's an application that puts itself in every program, shows up in your taskbar, and it's, it's, it's awful. It's nasty, and it needs to go away. And it's bundled with this program called PC Fix Speed. Now, if you click on it, they give you a toll-free number. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to promote them. And they'll hook you up with some telemarketing person in India, and they will attempt to sell you this expensive, ridiculous $300 a year service contract. They'll say, oh, we'll give you unlimited help with your computer. You just call us, we fix it. But in reality, there's a lot of things they can't fix. They promise you they can fix hardware issues via the Internet, but that's completely impossible because you can't run a diagnostic on hardware, or most hardware, in Windows. If you want to run a true hardware test on a hard drive or memory, you have to do it with a utility that's Linux based or something that runs outside of Windows. And if they don't have an internet connection in Windows, then they can't do that. So it's not even possible. So I'm not going to restart right now, even though it's telling me to restart because there's a piece of that program still running. That's okay. I'm just going to uninstall all the rest of this stuff here. And let's knock all this out. This finally fast. And let's get rid of Ascentive Performance Center. It's another one of those programs that promises you can do all this stuff. And look at this. It won't even let me uninstall it because it's telling me that finally fast is running and it can uninstall itself while it's running. So I'm going to look down here on the tray and I do see this finally fast down here on the bottom. So I'm going to right click on it. And it's not going to do anything. So it's not letting me take it out. Let's try a left click. Nothing. Well, finally, fast. It's kind of locked in there. So, oh, there it is. So a right click should open this dialog. And then you just simply click on exit <laughs> a couple of times. And apparently it's not that easy. All right. Finally, fast. It's not responding because it's a piece of junk. So let's close it and get that out of here. Now, finally, fast is going away. Good. Now I can finally uninstall finally fast and make my computer finally faster now that finally fast is gone. A lot of these incentive, incentive programs will start to pop up on your computer, so you definitely want to get rid of those. You don't need those, and this is already gone. This Wajam is something that's fairly recent within the last year or so, and what that does is gives you all kinds of pop-up junk in your internet browsers, and they, under the guise that they're going to give you personalized recommendations on your website. So what they're basically doing is spying on you. They're watching what you're doing and uh, trying to recommend advertising based on your internet surfing habits. And that's exactly the kind of scariness that everybody's kind of up in arms against right now. So why would you want that on your computer? So let's knock that out. Knock out the wall jam. So we've got that. And of course, they're going to pop up a website tell me I'm an idiot for uninstalling it. And uh, we're going to make that go away. I'm not even going to give them the time of day. So we've got a couple other things on here. This Linksicle, which is providing advertisements towards the bottom of my website that I completely don't want. So we'll make that go away. And that's a pretty quick uninstall. And then there's a couple other ones here. That, again, we're just doing this through Windows. We haven't installed any third-party software to do this yet. So right now, as it stands, we haven't installed any software to remove any residual and unfortunately that's the second part of this is there is residual stuff that ends up here after you've installed all this junk and we'll get rid of that i'll show you a couple tools you can run for free to remove that stuff just after we're done uh, rebooting and getting rid of the stuff that we can manually remove via windows add and remove programs feature so uh, we're knocking these last things out here and you can see it was a fresh load there wasn't a whole lot installed here and we're knocking these out now, and uh, most of them are coming out pretty seamlessly with no problems whatsoever. Let's check back on our McAfee. It should be finished by now. No, any is scanning for root kits. It's not going to find anything because there is probably no root kit in the stuff that I installed this time. All right, that came out nicely. This extended update, I have no idea what that is. Let's get rid of that. That can go away. Jump flip is... No, I'm not going to reboot right now. I'm going to get rid of this. Jump flip's another one of those ads 
those advertising utilities that pops up on your Internet Explorer that makes it completely cumbersome and virtually unusable. So we'll get rid of all that. A couple more things we'll knock out here and then we'll reboot. And then I will show you the tools that the professional computer technicians are using to remove malware from 99% of the computers in the world. All right, we've removed all the offending software it would let us remove through control panel, add and remove program. So now it's time to take a look at Internet Explorer and see what we're left with here. We left the uh, McAfee on here. It's still fully active. It is in a trial phase, though. That shouldn't matter. It should be fully functional during its trial. And Yahoo is still our search engine. Um, if you watched the video before, originally it was AOL. But it's sending it to some kind of partner thing here. So somebody's getting a kickback every time we uh, search for something and click through. Uh, let's just do a uh, random search and see what happens. See if it takes us where it's supposed to go. And it looks like there are a bunch of ads, but the official site is coming up here. If I click on it, does it take me there? And yes, it looks like it does. So that's a good thing. But what you want to do here is definitely reset your Internet Explorer to make sure there's no residual effects, plugins, or anything wacky going out here. So you go to, uh, let me show you that again. <laughs> there's a couple of different ways to get here, excuse me. You can open Internet Explorer. And if you have Internet Explorer, this is 11. I think 9, 10, and 11 have the icons in the same place. On the upper right-hand corner, you'll see this gear, and that will open Tools. And then you can go to Internet Options from here, and it will open this dialog box. If for some reason you can't get there, if your Internet Explorer is going nuts, it's popping in and out, there's a thousand pop-ups. In some cases, you may not be able to get there. You can get there through Control Panel. Open up Control Panel from the Start button, then Control Panel, and there should be a network icon here. I believe that's what it's called, if it ever comes up. Here it is, and uh, Network and Internet is under that section if you're looking at it by category. And then you have Internet Options. You can click on that, and it'll open the same dialog box without actually opening Internet Explorer. So then you go to the Advanced tab, and on this bottom you'll see Reset. So what you want to do here is reset Internet Explorer settings. Don't worry, it won't delete your favorites. However, if you do click delete personal settings, which sometimes you have to, it will reset your home page to the Windows default. It will reset your search providers, any accelerators, any plugins. It will also delete your passwords and do not track data and a lot of other information. But sometimes you have to do it. Hopefully you saved your password. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to do a complete reset of my Internet Explorer. Sometimes you can use this too if your Internet Explorer is just acting wacky for no particular reason. It's just not doing what you're guessing or hoping it's going to do. And then you just open it back up. It should reset it back to uh, the MSN homepage, which it did. It gets rid of any toolbars, it resets your search, and also all this stuff here. It gives me the option, the first option that ever came up when I used it. And it says, hey, you've got Internet Explorer 11, yay. So close that craziness. Now here you can go back here to Internet Options, and you can reset your home page to whatever you want. Our typical user uses AOL.com, so I'm just going to type AOL.com under the General tab here, and then click OK. And now if I close my Internet Explorer and open it back up, it should shoot right to AOL.com, assuming there's no other infection here. Let's assume your computer is completely trashed and you need to, um, to straighten this out. So this is what you do. You try to get to a website. We use Google for almost all of our searches. It seems to uh, provide the most accurate search results. Uh, it's just a personal preferences. A lot of people like other search engines and you feel free to use those too but Google has a little bit less advertising it's a little bit less prominent and I seem to get in less trouble when we use the Google search engine so well one of the tools we like to use it's actually a cloud scanner and in order to use a cloud scanner you have to use the cloud which is the internet and you have to have an internet connection sometimes these things get knocked off the internet with certain infections but if you can get online you want to go to actually let's go to Hitman Pro dot nl for the netherlands it's actually a netherlands based company but don't worry the software and the site is in english forwards you to surfright.nl.en and you can download this program called hitman pro and they give you a 30-day free license for home users it's a quick download it installs itself fairly quickly and the scan usually takes 10 minutes or less 
And what it does is it goes through the files on your computer while you're online and it compares them against several databases that are stored on the cloud. In this particular category or this case right now, it's Bitdefender, MCSoft, and Kaspersky, three pretty good antivirus, anti-malware programs. And it doesn't just scan for viruses, it scans for malware, it looks for root kits. And if it finds something it's never seen before, or something it can't compare on its database, it will actually upload it, run a test on it, and send back the results all within your scan. Now again, this scans pretty quick. It takes about 10 minutes or less, and it does a pretty good job. It's a pretty good benchmark to see if you do have some problems with your computer. Again, it's hitmanpro.nl.com. It does forward, so you can go to hitmanpro.com, and it does take us to the surfright.nl website, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and let this run. We'll see what, we, well, in the meantime, let's let it, oh, it did find something here. It found this update task. Now we did uninstall this particular program with control panels, add and remove programs feature. However, it's left a piece of it here under the app data, which is a hidden folder. So this will go through and check and see if there's any more residuals from that stuff we did uninstall. And as you can see, it did leave something here. So it's good that we ran this. So in the meantime, let's go download some of those other tools so we'll have them. The second tool I use that I completely love is something called Rogue Killer. And I think I can get there from an AOL search. It's made by a French guy, I believe, named Tigsy. And it's a phenomenal program. It goes and scans also for root kits and malware, but there's a lot of fakies here, so be careful of these advertisements. You definitely want to either get it from Bleeping Computer, which is a great repository for all kinds of wonderful tools that will help you clean up your computer on your own for free. Um, the official website is actually tigsy.geeks2go.com, and there's actually a French version of the website too. But it looks kind of amateurish, but this is the real deal. We use this a bunch. And uh, this is a 64 bit, so you have to know if your computer's 32 or 64 bit. If you're not sure, go with the 32 bit because the 64 bit won't run on the 32 bit. 64 bit, so I'm going to save this at this time. I'm going to save it on my desktop so I know where it is. It's really easy to get to. Again, it's called Rogue Killer. And you get to it at tigsy.geeks2go.com slash rogue killer. Do a search for Rogue Killer and make sure you look for Tigsy's name or website. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is, let's go to a search. You can search from your toolbar, but I'll try to keep this as painless as possible. And there's this thing called ADW Cleaner, which is another free utility that you can get from CNET, but bleepingcomputer.com. I believe they check their files before they make them available for download. We've never run into a problem with this, so... I'm going to visit the author's site to make sure I get the official and the latest update of this, uh, this ADW. And this guy looks like he's French, too. But that's no problem because this stuff does run in English. And I'm going to Telecharge. I don't speak French. I have no idea if I pronounced that incorrectly. I probably did. I apologize. So uh, it sent me here. Actually, it sent me back. So let's just download it here. I'm not sure where it sent me. So I can download this directly from... Uh, bleeping computer. Now when you're on bleeping computer, this is important too, you'll see this start download thing here, but it's under an area called sponsored products. Now if I click this start download, it's going to download some junk, so I definitely want, don't want to do that. Um, save this to my desktop also. So I'll show you what happens. If I click start download, it's going to take me to some other junkware, and this is crap. And Bleeping Computer, unfortunately, is ad-supported. They have to pay their bills somehow, but the people who run advertisements are a little less than forthcoming in what they do. So, unfortunately, there's some kind of junk on here. So, you don't want to download that. You definitely want to download the real thing. And uh, it's a little difficult to find. If the download didn't start automatically and show up on the bottom of your screen, then you want to... Uh, did it save that? I thought it saved it. I'll save it again just in case. Yes, it is. We'll save it on top of it. It's not going to hurt anything. Then you'd click on this here, which would give me the official download and not this download button. And you have to, they're very, very convincing looking. So you have to be careful on what you download. And there's one more thing here that we use. And it's, this is the trickiest of all. You can actually end up in some trouble if you run this incorrectly or if you don't know what you're doing. Although it's rare, but it could happen. It's a program called Combo Fix. And you can find that on Bleeping Computer. I believe Bleeping Computer is the actual official download site for Combo Fix. 
So I'm going to click on this blue thing here and avoid the... It doesn't have any... Yeah, it has advertisements here, so you want to stay away from this. I don't know what that is. We'll stay away from that. But this is the official download for... Um, for a uh, combo fix and this is the third tool we use typically we only run this on computers that are very very infected and it has a 50 51 step routine that goes through all kinds of craziness scans all kinds of system files and compares them against an internal databases and makes all kinds of modifications so uh hey what happened no mcafee combo fix is not a trojan now that is an issue so what you need to do is actually suspend your mcafee and i believe trend in something else too you need to suspend your uh settings so that your real-time scanning is not on when you run or try to download combo fix so i'm going to turn it off till i restart my pc so that mcafee won't come through and actually detect this uh, combo fix as a virus because I know for a fact that it, is, that it is not. Although it is possible that some of these downloads through bleeping computer could be infected, it's highly unlikely. I've got these tools here that I'm going to run. Hitman Pro should be done. It's scanned by now. And look at all this stuff it found here. It found uh, something called rocket fuel through this Mobo Genie and uh whatever that is some kind of ad showing stuff and it's found a whole bunch of them here even though i've under uninstalled mobo genie you can see all the residual junk that's on here now it sets it to ignore because you may actually want mobo genie or rocket fuel so it doesn't automatically uninstall them and it's got this fake flash player which a lot of people see this pop-up comes up and says hey you've got this flash player you need an update well, you have to make sure and be careful, and it's difficult to do, that you're getting the official Flash update directly from Adobe, which is the company that makes it. So I'm going to click on Apply to All, and I'm going to delete everything. I want to delete everything. Now, uh, Hitman Pro is a terrific program. They ask you to buy it. You can activate your license for free for 30 days, but you have to type in your email address, and then they'll send you a reminder. But it's a terrific program, Hitman Pro. It's about, uh, I believe it's... 20 or 30 dollars for a year and you can get it at uh, surfright.nl so go ahead and key in your email address in here it's completely safe and then run the rest of the routine and it'll remove whatever it ha has found and then we'll move on to the next uh, tool all right we've completed our hitman pro removal and you can see it found 1254 traces in one threat so it found a whole bunch of stuff on here and it'll want you to reboot your computer, including this Mobo Genie thing that it installed as a result of one of those programs we downloaded. The next thing I'm going to run here is uh, something called ADW Cleaner. It's an adware cleaner. We just started using this several months ago. And uh, it's a really helpful little program that finds adware, rogue adware, that leaves residuals on your computer after you've uninstalled them or even before you've uninstalled them and this will take care of it for you and it finds registry entries it finds folders files stuff that shouldn't be left over on your computer from these adwares it checks for plugins on internet explorer and firefox and chrome it's a pretty great program to remove the residual effects of adware and all those little pop-up things that show up in internet explorer and it's a very quick scan too and you can see here what it's found. Nothing under services, but you have to click on these tabs here, so it's kind of awkward if you don't know what you're looking at. Actually, you can see the My PC Backup is still here. The Optimizer Pro still has a couple of folders, so we're going to delete those. All those are checked. Anything you don't want to install, just remove the checkbox. It'll show files, which it hasn't found any files, so that's a good thing. Shortcuts are gone, and a whole bunch... What is going on here? And all, there's still, I'm still running in the background. It's causing that message to come up, but hopefully we'll get rid of it. But um, you're seeing all these registry entries here that are left over. Just gumming up your registry. They're completely unnecessary. So yes, we'll remove all of those. The next thing we're going to run is a program called Rogue Killer. And I'm looking at my desktop here. I'm noticing that my combo fix has just disappeared. Because apparently McAfee still determines that it is malware. It runs a preliminary scan. After it's done that, you accept it and then you run the main scan by pressing the scan button up top. And it scans the registry, it scans your processes, it also checks for rootkits and other stuff too. And again, I haven't found any problems with this program, except once in a while in a very infected computer it will freeze up and just 
lock up the computer to the point where you have to pull the plug on it and start it up again. If that happens to you, then we'll just skip Road Killer for now and move on to the next scan. So we'll go ahead and let this run and see, see if it finds anything uh, during its scan. It found six different things here. Let's bring this a little larger so we can see what it found. And uh, these are the troubling things here. Now this is the stuff that malware can do behind the scenes that you wouldn't know about. These things are pretty critical. Your task manager is actually responsible for bringing up that list of programs that's running in the background. But one of those pieces of malware has disabled the task manager. And it's also disabled your registry tools. If we think of the registry as sort of Windows table of contents. Well, it's saying, no, you can't edit anything. You can't change anything. You can't fix anything because it's disabled your access to get into those task manager and registry, registry access tools. So what Rogue Killer has done is identified these potentially bad registry entries. And this thing keeps coming up. That's so strange. And what you can do is just click on the delete button. It will take all of those out. It will delete those offending entries out of your registry and give you the full control over your computer so you then again can use it the way that you want to. Also, it these uh, these uh, prohibitive registry entries here won't let you fix your computer either. It'll allow, it won't allow a lot of the antivirus, anti-malware programs that some of the tools we're using to do what they're intending to do because it's blocking your access to the registry as this current user. So. And it's also, this Rogue Killer also has a couple of different really neat things on the side here, which they've just repaired in the recent version. You can actually fix your host. Uh, by a host, it means you can actually replace website addresses with fake addresses. And some malware has been known to do that. Meaning if you type in google.com, it can redirect you somewhere else. So the host file, we should fix that. It sets it back to the default, which is a blank slate, which is not a bad thing for most users. So go ahead and click on that fix host button. And then fix proxy. If you're not using a proxy, which most home users are not, meaning you're actually going through a third-party computer to do all your internet searches and anything you do online. If you're not doing that, which most people aren't, go ahead and click on fix proxy. It'll remove one if it finds one. Some malware does find it, and uh, this button removes it. And then there's your DNS, which is how your computer translates words like yahoo.com, aol.com into numerical web addresses. And this can also be altered or infiltrated. And if you fix that button, it sets it back to the, uh, the Windows default. So that's all we found here. You can fix shortcuts too, but that's kind of gone away. Uh, some of the old malware will delete all the shortcuts on your desktop and hide everything. And that button uh, fixes that. And you can also generate a report to see exactly what it's done. And you've got a whole bunch of reports on your desktop here, which you can. You can look over. It tells you what it found. And uh, if you're interested, you can find out what effect that may have had on your computer. But uh, in most cases, you can just highlight these text files and throw them in your recycle bin. Uh, the last thing we're going to run is the combo fix. And again, if your computer's not really hosed up, you probably don't need to run it. But in most cases, I do recommend running it anyway because it is uh, such a powerful tool and it may find some stuff in there that none of these other tools are able to detect. And once in a while, we'll see some stuff that'll just pop up and say, hey, we didn't know that was in there. So remember, you have to set your antivirus to real-time scanning off because some programs like McAfee will detect combo fix as a virus. And uh, I'm just going to reset this to the off position until I reset my PC. I'm going to try AOL search for combo fix. Remember, these, this is a blue download button here. So this is a fake one. It's going to download something else. But the real one should pop up on the bottom. If not, then you can click this button right around here, and that will do it. So I'm going to save it again. I'm going to try to throw it back on my desktop. Again, I've done this before, but McAfee identified it as a virus and deleted it automatically. It's trying to do its job. Sometimes it doesn't know the difference. Um, but due to the behavior in combo fix, it may be detected as a virus. Remember, you have to set your most antiviruses, most commercial antiviruses, to the off position or non-real-time scanning. Otherwise, it won't let this program run. Now, again, this is a big mystery what this thing does. The people who wrote combo fix, um, I believe it's a guy in China, although he's very stealth. I'm not sure where he is. We've donated to him a couple of times. So... Uh, give him an incentive to keep updating this powerful product. It runs through 50 different tests. It runs on every operating system from XP all the way through Windows 8. 
So combo fix finished its scan. It took about 15 minutes and fortunately this one's pretty clean. It didn't find anything. It gives you a little rundown on what it's found here. It found uh, McAfee here and if there was any malware found it would list it down here but it's just showing you the files that were created recently which can be a hint. Um, if you're running into trouble you could look at the last files were installed and it gives you kind of a record of what happened to your system and potentially what changes occurred in your system that may have been causing a problem so it's a good method of troubleshooting too so i would have to say that this computer is now pretty darn clean so i'll go ahead and pull up uh oh you will see these errors come up too after you run combo fix because it does reset some of the security settings in internet explorer so you'll see this security alert here so just click uh, in the future you don't have to worry about it. just in the future do not show this warning sometimes it comes up twice uh, for whatever reason and just uh, click the same button and it'll go away so you should be good to go after you've run those tools we gave you remember we're looking at combo fix we're looking at uh, ADW cleaner we're looking at rogue killer and also hitman pro and if you're concerned about some of the tools and maybe you have some residual you can always go ahead and run a complete virus scan with your antivirus and uh, make sure there's no residual no other weirdness in there and when you reboot your computer your uh, real-time scanning will turn on, so I recommend not going and surfing the internet and doing what you normally do until you reboot your computer after you've run Combo Fix. Um, occasionally, too, you'll see Combo Fix do something weird where uh, you'll try to run something, you'll double click on a program, and it'll say this is scheduled for deletion. But that's only in the cases of a really badly malware infected computer, so just reboot and that warning will also go away. And also make sure you're all up to date on your Windows updates, too. Uh, your security patches do come directly from Microsoft and they do take care of several, if not all, of the current threats that are available. They identify them, um, put security patches out to patch those flaws, and your computer would be a whole lot safer if it's up to date with the latest security patches. Again, Windows XP security patches are going away in April of 2014. So if you're going to use XP, which you can use XP, after April of 2014. In our next video, we'll show you how to set up a virus-free internet actually using a Windows XP machine. And uh, you can still use that until the cows come home. Anyway, Chuck Fresh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please click the like button if you did and uh, share it with your friends. Um, this is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN.